What is up everyone? It is Diecast Buffet here again, guys. It is time for another Advent Calendar Mystery Diecast review. So, naturally, this is the time of the video. If you don't want to see the diecast, you don't want to be spoiled, see any, you know, see the car or whatnot, now's the time to go click on one of my other videos. You could probably scroll down. There'll be a bunch of them uh, in the recommended or suggested tab. Depends on the device you're watching on, really. But, yeah. So, if you want to watch it and check out these spoiled diecasts, go ahead. Last call. All right. So, today's diecast we'll be talking about is... 2024 Daniel Suarez Wendy's car and uh, my battery over here is going out so just bear with me so we're going to chat about this car as I replace my battery I'm trying to do this all in one take so just just chill with me <laughs> anyways this car I've actually done a die cast review on you can see how bright it is yeah gotta love that um I've done die cast review on it in the gold series so this is probably gonna be more of a short video but for historical purposes, I wanted to do a diecast review on every single diecast in this wave. Now, even though I've done a review of the Gold Series, this is technically the Authentics one, so there is some differences. I think it's important to document it all and do a review on each one. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. Alrighty, folks, got it out of the, well, the plastic bag that it came in, and time for the diecast review. So in the first review I did on this car, absolutely loved it i mean it's one of my favorite paint schemes of 2024 but i said in that 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 review i say paint schemes but like the xfinity paint schemes it's just literally one of the best ones but i said in that review that if they made an authentic edition of this car it's probably going to you know limit the uh the ability for it to be rare obviously and i wasn't sure if it was going to be put in the authentics line and I was like, hey, if they're not going to, <laughs> you better get it while you can. Naturally, they did make it. So I think that's going to reduce the uh, collectability of it a little bit. But we're going to dive into this die cast review. So the most subtle differences you could see with this car, obviously the gray interior and there's no window print. So there's a lot of differences with this car. You got the Wendy's uh, logo right there on the hood get camaro number 14 sudoku sudoku the whole paint scheme is kind of this like wavy I, I don't know is it like is it supposed to be like a ribbon it kind of reminds me of you know when you're, when you're a kid i don't know if y'all kids nowadays have this but when i was a kid they had a thing called silly string you spray it and it's like all these like crazy like string worm looking things that shoot out of the can it's pretty cool that's what it kind of reminds me of uh, go to the left side of the die kiss and I don't know if there's any logo differences. We've seen this before where like a die cast gets released at one point and then it gets released in another line. Same paint scheme, same driver, but you might see a few logos here and there different. I don't think that's the case here, but regardless, man, what a cool looking car. Number 14. So if you didn't get it in the Gold Series and you pick it up in the Advent Calendar, congratulations, you paid five bucks for it. You see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's a really good deal for a great looking die cast. If you haven't picked up your advent calendar set, guys, make sure to do so over there at Circle B Diecast. Use promo code Diecast Buffet if it's still in stock. If it's not, hey, cop the uh, Gold Series Edition if they have it in stock. Okay, good year right there. Xfinity, Mobile One, Cometic, Lincoln Welders, Arrowhead, uh, Ellsworth, Wendy's, Freeway Action Industries, Coca Cola, Leaf Filter. <laughs> Go Biggie. <laughs> uh, where Biggie Small is at? <laughs> That's funny. Hey, if, if you know, you know. Hey, man. This diecast, I think I did it in my last diecast review on this. And I was like uh, making references to some of the songs, you know, like Hypnotize. Oh, good good stuff. Okay. Number 14 right there, Wendy's. I like how it's right above the uh, Chevrolet badge. That's pretty cool. Go to the right side of the diecast. Now, if you're a collector that already had this car and you had a duplicate version of it, you know, the Gold Series and the Authentics, unfortunately, this car was only ran once. So, I was going to say maybe you could make a couple of different raced versions of it. I think it had some damage during the race. So, if you, if, you, know, if you have two of these and you're like, I don't care about collecting it, maybe make one of them to a raced version. You know what I'm saying? You could decorate it and all that good jazz. Go to the top of the car. Number 14, Wendy's, and well, you, you guessed it, BK. I, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not Burger King. So, 
What a fantastic looking car. I love it. Definitely one of the best Xfinity paint schemes of the year. And if you're an Xfinity stop motion guy or a cat or whatever, I like saying cat. I know I'm, I'm dorky. <laughs> um, this is a unique number. So you could use this in your die cast stop motion. And fortunately with this set, it's kind of a supplement for your die cast stop motion fans. Why? Because you're going to get an epic Sam Mayer car. Again, we're, we're talking, you know, advent calendar here. You know, this is going to be spoiler talk. So don't come at me, guys. You know, I already gave you all the heads up. So everything should be all good. But that's a Xfinity die cast right there. And then there's another one. You're going to get the number 81 Chandler Smith as well. So that's three clean, non-race to win Xfinity paint schemes just in this set. That is fantastic right there, guys. That is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic, and I'm curious. Let me let me bring in another calling racing car here. I don't. Okay, I was gonna say I. <laughs> this car might not have much damage on it, but then I'll look at the left rear, and it's yeah, it's got a ton of damage there with the tire. Never mind on that. Uh, you'll have to use another 16 car to fulfill that gap in your collection. Regardless, um, three Xfinity diecasts. There's some great pieces. The uh, the Ogata car that came out year, this year, number 35. I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. Obviously, the Owl Guy or Sammy Smith. And then you have uh, the other cat over there at Junior Motorsports. My mind went blank. <laughs> DJ Screw. Okay. Uh, what was the other JRM car that got made this year? Can't even remember it. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Brandon Jones. Wasn't it? Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Um, my point is, there's a ton of unique numbers, so if you're wanting to get a die-cast stop motion up, this is a great supplement for it. There's a bunch of other cool Xfinity cars that are on the low right now, and hey, if Circle B does their Black Friday sale, you might be able to get a lot of those cars half off. Ooh, hey, if they do it this year, man, <laughs> tap in. That's all for now, die-cast buffet. Signing off.